The Tennessee River winds its way 652 miles, over a thousand kilometers, through four states from Knoxville, Tennessee to Paducah, Kentucky. Over the years, the river has played a significant role in economic and industrial development, but the river also provides world-class recreational opportunities. Recognizing the value, beauty, and fragility of the Tennessee River and its 41,000 square mile watershed, the Tennessee Riverline Project was conceived in 2016. The vision, a continuous trail system of hiking, biking, and on-water experiences along the length of the river and its watershed. It's a partnership between the University of Tennessee, the UT Institute of Agriculture, the Tennessee Valley Authority, and a growing list of other partners. Now 41,000 square miles is going to take a long time to explore. And so I decided the best place to start was at the top of the river in Knoxville, Tennessee. Little did I know that I was about to discover one of the most beautiful and outdoors loving towns that I've ever visited. And so in this episode of Paddle Tales, I'm exploring the Tennessee Riverline and Knoxville, Tennessee. Paddle Tales is brought to you by P&H Sea Kayaks, NRS, Aquabound, Wiley X, and Outdoor Play. The Tennessee River is a big river. Now, most big rivers are, they're big arteries and are primarily used for industrial purposes. And so it's really cool to see one of these big waterways being used for recreational purposes. The Tennessee River is one of our region's most valuable, yet most underutilized natural and cultural resources. The Tennessee Riverline Initiative seeks to unlock the river's potential for economic development, entrepreneurship and public health, resource stewardship, and equitable access to river spaces and experiences by developing a continuous system of paddling, hiking, and biking experiences along its 652 mile reach. So I am in Holston River Park in Knoxville, Tennessee, and just a mile downstream of the Holston River here, we have the confluence of the Holston and the French Broad, and that's where the Tennessee River starts. And this is where my paddling adventure is beginning today. We're doing the first part of it, we're doing about a six or seven mile chunk of the Tennessee River right into downtown Knoxville. So I get my first taste of the Tennessee River line, my first taste of Knoxville from the water, and I'm getting my first taste of this sucker right here. This is the PH Sea Kayaks Volan 160 Sea Kayak. And this is one of those kayaks that you almost feel bad about putting on the water and getting any type of scratches on. This is a work of art. This thing is a, a Kevlar carbon infused kayak, 16 feet long and 42 pounds. I'm gonna feel really bad about those first few scratches, but I'm really glad it's me that are gonna, is gonna be putting them on this boat. Enough talking about this boat, it's time to get it on the water and experience the Tennessee River Line. Skirt wedgie. I love spending time and, and paddling with passionate people and uh, that's why it's great to paddle with Brad and Clay today. Brad's from the Tennessee River Line, Clay's from TVA, and they're both very passionate, not just about paddling, but about Knoxville and the Tennessee River and developing the Tennessee River Line. The Tennessee River main stem offers a diversity of recreation experiences on the water, from paddling to world-class fisheries that attract bass tournaments from around the country uh, to come to the Tennessee River. 
The Atitsi River is, is incredibly diverse. Within the system from Knoxville to Paducah, there are nine actual reservoirs. Two of those nine reservoirs, Chickamauga and Gunnersville, are routinely recognized as being some of the most, you know, some of the most fantastic bass fishing in the nation. Oh yeah. So here we have it. This is the beginning. Is it 652 miles of Tennessee River glory ahead here? There is. This is the confluence of the French Broad and Holston. It's 652 miles to Paducah, Kentucky. All right. Well, I mean, it's a little long. It'll be a big day, but I'm game if you're game. <laughs> A really important part of the Tennessee Riverline story is that it was actually a student's concept developed initially in 2016 as this vision for a continuous trail system along the river. What that has since evolved into is a recognition that our waterways can be viewed and should be viewed as a part of our public space systems. The Tennessee River is one of our nation's most storied rivers. Some of its most important histories and modern accomplishments happen right here, uh, and it's, it's an opportunity to tell that story as well. Um, but by getting eyes on the resource, then you can inspire new generations of river stewards. One of the healthiest things to see on any waterway is paddlers <laughs> on the waterway. That means that it's accessible, that people are discovering the river as a way to explore their homes, their communities. It's an encouraging thing to see beginners on the water. <laughs> well, that looks like a pretty good sized group of paddlers getting ready to launch. Yeah, so the city of Knoxville's take on the river line is breaking down barriers for first time paddlers. You know, not just thinking about the adventure enthusiasts, but individuals who might not have been out on the river before. Hey Cheryl, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic, Brad. How are you? Oh, we're doing great. We're just giving my friend Ken here a taste of the river here in the city of Knoxville. Wow. Hello. <laughs> Hello, how are you? What's happening out of the river here today? Well, it's, it's a great day to be on the river. Thank you for coming. I, I'm glad I'm seeing everybody, but we have my um, my colleagues, my co-workers that are here, and um, some friends that I have a friend that is new on the river, so it gives my staff a, um, an opportunity to do some training, and um, we get a good day on the river. Well, hey, we're continuing on down to Calhoun's for lunch. Would you care to join us? That would be first. I'd love to. Awesome. We'll see you in a bit. I love seeing people getting their feet wet paddling for the first time. But I love the idea of a riverside lunch even more. So we got to get moving. The coolest thing about this section that we're paddling today is that it really is where nature meets the urban environment. You know, we're starting in this beautiful park with, you know, very wilderness-like, and we're ending in downtown Knoxville. It's one of three stadiums in the country where you can boat up to and actually walk to the game. So all these buildings, the, uh, Part of the university? They are, they are. This is the campus of the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, flagship campus of the UT system, and the birthplace of the Tennessee Riverline Initiative. Pretty cool paddling in Knoxville. You're, you're pretty much right downtown. I mean, you've got the downtown core right there. You have the University of Tennessee and the stadium, a 100,000 person stadium right there right alongside the river. I mean, this is a town that is built on the river. Knoxville, Tennessee is the trailhead community for the Tennessee Riverline. It's my home, it's home to the University of Tennessee, it's the home to TVA, um, and it has become unto itself a recreation destination. Within that River is Park concept, it functions here locally, where we have many miles of river that flow through downtown, um, that connects to neighborhoods and communities outside of the, uh, the center of the city. Uh, and 
offering a you know, diversity of recreation opportunities and experiences. It's pretty cool to see the beginning of the Tennessee River Line. I mean, Knoxville represents the beginning of the Tennessee and the Tennessee River Line, but there are 652 miles of the Tennessee River and then countless other tributary rivers, not to mention the, the walking trails, biking trails, the other trails here. And I have a whole lot more exploring to do in this area. Well, what a great first taste of Knoxville, the Tennessee River, and the Tennessee River Line. Pretty awesome to paddle right into downtown Knoxville and to finish the day at Calhoun's with a Riverside lunch. That's it for me for right now. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and if you have, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already, and stay tuned because we got lots more videos coming your way, including a full gear review of this kayak that I'm just testing for the first time, the PH Sea Kayaks Volan 160. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description box down below. And it's time to get fueled up at Calhoun's because we got a lot more adventures in the Tennessee River line to go on.